Hello everyone, Dust Money Adventure here from Slackers in the Cover, bringing you the Flinch Hook, September 7th, daily. It is September 7th, right? I'm pretty sure it's September 7th. Did I hit, I, did I actually hit record? Okay, I thought I, I like fat fingered F3 and F4 at the same time, and F2 and F3 at the same time. I'm like, oh god, did I just start it and end at the same time? Good bad. Daily, September 7th, let's head into it. Booster pack from last time we played, Double Blast. Yeah, I did an infinite raid, uh... I was kind of posted to the channel, but uh, it didn't go very well. It was pretty bad, actually. So I was like, you know, well, we'll try this again later. But I want to start doing more infinite raids and see if I can beat my old PB of uh, 18. 18 ships was the most I was able to complete before I died. Uh, I think I had 1 HP for like 5 of those ships. But uh, yeah, I'm going to start doing infinite raids. And... Um, Maybe on the off time, when I can't think of anything else to play, maybe I'll stream some Infinite Raids. I mean, it's fun to keep up and fun to do. Um, I, I just have I have fun with this game. This game and Dead Cells bring me a lot of joy in my life. And for single-player games to keep my attention as long as these two games have, that is saying something. Because I'm usually one of those people that as soon as I finish the story or finish the roundabout, you know, you know, 20, 30 hours in, I'm done. And I walk away from it, but like Flint, Hook, and Dead Cells, I mean, I, I could tell you right now, my time on Steam on, on Flint, Hook is probably up there, uh, uh, 178 hours according to this, and then Dead Cells is, do, 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 I know this is daily and I'm going way off topic, uh, 120 hours on that. So, for, for games to keep my attention, solo player games to keep my attention that long, they must be really good games. This one, this one does. You cheeky little smirking bastard right there. I love you. And I'm wearing your shirt right now, so hey! You got my money that way, too! Alright, five skull, iron head, lavender gauntlet, flax infestation. Still running for speed. Not for score, not for score. Come on, bunny. Remember, you're not doing score runs, because that's what you were doing. Oh! Balls! I just realized I switched my, my build around for the, um... For the infinite raid, and I didn't switch it back. Yeah, I, I took wave the gun off, and I have uh, uh, some crit increases working right now. So, uh, yeah, more powerful than that were. So hopefully that doesn't hurt us too bad versus our typical running styles. So these guys take a little bit longer to kill, but it's okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I was trying to kill you before you had a chance to do something bad. And on downhill. I figured as much. Okay, that's not the case that way. Head up here. Honestly, I probably could have saved time by just going to the other room, but. What say you? Grit keeps you from getting hit unless you're bad. And then it doesn't. Oh yeah, see I could have skipped a battle room right there. That would have saved me a good amount of time. Yeah, I know you were doing that rocket. I shouldn't have stood there. That was my bad. Music stopping. You know you're doing all right when the music stops. Not doing one shots like before. A little bit of invincibility there, that's nice. I, I kinda wanna grab this. Just for 10 HP, I am hurting myself real bad right here. Hey! Hey! 
That was actually impressive for myself. I know I was using one of those, uh, those fighting bells to give myself invincibility for that fight, but... Dang! You know, nice and fast and easy to go. Let's do it. Double, um, let me double quadruple check something. Okay. Just, I have like PTSD. I'm looking at this and I'm like, oh god, wait, did I forget? D d volume! Can, is there volume? Is the mic muted? I don't Okay. Uh, platoon board, platoon board, haunted chamber, haunted chamber. Holy moly. Is this a Halloween run or what? Platoons, haunted chambers. It's going to be a rough ship. And we're, we're running a little bit less damage than usual because... See, I just didn't want to run with Way of the Gun on infinite rate because when you get down to having one max HP, one current HP, you know, draining HP a little bit here and there really kind of counts against you at that point. As in, you die. At least I assume you die. I just didn't want to risk it. Head down here, maybe? Head on down. That's a lot of everything I didn't want to encounter. We're okay with that. Uh, a little bit of damage here. Oh, mana. Oh, mama. Too much damage. This is my haunted room. Haunted fly axes really aren't that special. You guys aren't haunted at all! I hate you guys, because you guys are 100% RNG. Right head on here, we've got another battle room. Are you my other haunted chamber? You would be. Of all the timing to get an item that helps in a battle, that's about as best as you can get. Like, for real. Oh, I almost had a flawless victory on you, you jerk. But, whistle down, and scrubbed, and we're heading to the next ship already. Which, for the difficulty that these ships have been giving us, I think we are doing hellaciously, awesomely well. I mean, we're dodging a little bit here and there, but I mean, I, HP is setting at 90. We've been taking some hits, folks. Then a little bit of stop we had to do for, like, what was it, one apple in the first ship, just to make sure we weren't going to go down. Lamb the Gauntlet, five skull. Don't think it's going to be a sub five, but yeah, it might be a sub six at this rate. Which is awesome. About as awesome as you can get. And after this, it's time to do thumbnails. Because tomorrow is our 50 sub celebration that we haven't really twittered or anything about on. At least I don't think we've twittered on. It was kind of unexpected. Well, one, 50 subs. That quickly. Jeez. Thanks, guys. Like, I, and I'm not saying that in like a, a sarcastic way. Like, for real. Thanks. It's, it's really, really awesome. But, um, I didn't know we were going to do a celebration this fast. And, uh, Mad Dog's like, yo, I'm off, you know, this Friday. Why don't we do it Friday? Okay. I mean, normally he works nights, so, uh, if he's off, more power to us. But it's also, as it turns out, his birthday. That's why he has the day off. So, we're having a thing from 9.30, uh... 9.30 a.m. Central Standard Time to 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, that's, uh, uh, 10.30 to 
uh, other times for the rest of the world. My brain fart. 8.30 p.m. for the rest of the world. You know, for the rest of us that runs on Eastern times, because not everybody is Central Standard Time anymore. Yeah, uh, and, uh, I was thinking, like, let's do one game or two games, you know, and kind of split it. Maybe, like, a bunch of seven days. I love seven days, and seven days is always popular. But, uh, it was his birthday, so he got to pick the rules. So, it's actually starting with, uh, I think they're hour and a half intervals. Starting with Cross Out, then Robocraft, then Overwatch. Follow, uh, then seven days, and then Arc. And, um... Uh, yeah, it's just ongoing all day, celebration slash birthday. It works out. So it, it ought to be a blast. We ought to have a lot of fun with it. Okay. And here we go. Final shift. Got a little turned around the end there, but I don't think it cost us too much. So let's see how we do. How we do do that voodoo we do. That's not how that works, but. Feeling the heat during a firefight? Try slowing it down. Sub six, sub six, sub six, seven. Well, hey, I guess for the difficulty, it's still really, really good. And that we weren't killing stuff as fast as we should have. In fact, I'll probably switch over and make sure I correct that before I do the next speed run. But, uh, yeah, 708, what was our, uh, our time off? Usually, yeah, second spent 214, 214's not bad. I mean, I think my best seconds off on something is like 112, and that was a sub-5 run. So how do we do versus the masses? Our friends, no one else ran. 10,000 on score, all right. And time, yeah, well, only one person actually completed it so far, and that's Cape Cat Matsuri, rocking the 15,000 points. But uh, 11,000 points, uh, well, shy under 11,000 isn't bad for speedrun, and 7 minutes and 8 seconds is awesome. You know, especially for the difficulty. So, thank everyone for joining me. Thanks for hanging out for more news and information, uh, especially about upcoming events and what's current with Slayers in the cover. Check out our Twitter feed in the description below, as well as other links such as our Discord and Facebook. If you like what you saw and you want to see more like it, slap that like button and subscribe. Hit the little bell thingy so you'll get notified as soon as we uplo upload something cool. And share. Share the content. Because visibility is our greatest foe as a small channel. And sharing the video, sharing the content that we create is the best way you can support us as a channel. I kid you not. It's the best way. You could share us to somewhere that's like, uh, those guys are horrible. You know what? Bad publicity is still good publicity. Because any publicity is good publicity. I assume that works in the video world, too. I mean, you know, infamous, notorious. Still know of them, even if they're bad, right? So, uh, yeah. Uh, also, uh, if you're a YouTube content creator, we've got a referral link in the bl uh, below for TubeBuddy. Uh, yeah, it, check it out. It's, it's got some tools you can use for free. It's got tools you can use for payment. There is a sub you can do, uh, but new channels get a lot of discounts off, and it gets it gets down to about three bucks a month. Um, the tools that you can pay for range from all sorts of stuff, is doing A and B testing, so when you switch different things versus different uh, things, if you want to switch off different tags and stuff, it'll let you know, it'll keep track of like different videos and how those tags affect different things. There's a uh, tag optimization, you know, that's on the, the free end of it. Uh, tag suggestions, uh, profile layouts you can save. Like, for instance, like Flinthook. I do update my tags on Flinthook every week. In fact, every Monday is the thing that I go through. Since I manage the channel, I go through all the tags and stuff, see how different tags are doing, update them, change them, see their scores versus others by using the TubeBuddy system. Uh, see how often that there's search volume versus, you know, if there's a lot of competition for them. If there's a little too much competition, I'll pull them and I'll find something else. You know, because as a small channel, we get overlooked by, you know, a lot of people. Because if there's larger channels using them, they typically have more of a, a functionality in the SEO algorithm. And, yeah, so I, I try to keep up to date with whatever is the best option for the content I'm creating. And TubeBuddy is a great, great 
invaluable help on that. I mean, totally invaluable. Uh, the free side of things, I'm not even a subscriber for that, okay? So, you know, you can get away with a lot without not having to be a subscriber to their system. But there is other stuff to the system that you can use for free uh, for, uh, for subbing. But, uh, yeah, it, ch if you're a content creator, check it out at least. You know, you can install it in your browser. If it's something you don't want to use, hey, there's no contractual obligation for trying it out for free. So, no harm, no foul. But it is something, uh, if it is something that uh, you like, then hey, just installing it can help out this channel. That's the entire referral link down below. Like, if you check it out, if you install it, hey, awesome, it helps you out. And after so many installs, it does help me out too. Uh, I think it can upgrade our license, give us a subscription, that kind of thing. Things that, uh, like, I don't want to pay for, but eventually I may pay for because a lot of the tools are really, really handy to have. Such as, and I know I'm, I'm drawing this out again, I'm sorry, I ramble. Such as, you can make profile layouts. Like, like I said, you update a lot of your tags and stuff, I do it every week. But, during that week, once I have the tags and the layout and description and all that stuff information, I, uh... You, if you have a layout, a profile saved, you can quite literally upload a video, set it to that uh, layout, it'll auto-fill in all of the information and stuff, all the tags, all your setup, you know, like if you have your, your description below type stuff, fills all that stuff out. I mean, it just makes it quick and easy, especially if you're uploading stuff every day like we do. In fact, I think we upload about three to four to five videos a day because... There is multiple slackers on this channel, right? So everyone's making their own stuff. I got my dailies to do. I like Dead Cells. I was trying to play that again. Mad Dog's got his dailies. You know, Dan Mason is starting to do his dailies. So, you know, expect that. It's going to be just a flood of content. But at the same time, you know, that's a good thing. Just more things for people to watch. More things for people to come back to. You always kind of keep, you know, new traffic in and stuff. But I'm rambling because that's what I do. When I don't get enough caffeine. So this is Money Avenger signing off for now. Until next time, folks. Take care.